To begin the proceedings this afternoon, on the stage in front of us, please welcome the Reeve of Corman Park. To say a few words, Ms. Judy Harwood. Good afternoon, 2020 Warman High School graduates, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, extended family, and special guests. It is my extreme honor to be part of this exciting event. Go Wolverines! In a strange world, it is a strange world we are living in right now, almost unrecognizable. I know there are some graduates who feel sad and have lost out because they couldn't have a typical graduation ceremony to celebrate one of their greatest accomplishments. I see it differently. I see all of you, the 2020 graduates, as being very special. You are special. You have made history. You will be remembered as the class that finished high school during the COVID-19 pandemic. 2020 graduating classes will be Googled over and over. You didn't lose out, you won. You have experienced, I hope, a once in a lifetime event. In years to come, you will talk about this event to your children and grandchildren. I am proud of the parents and others who realized the graduates needed to be recognized in some way, and this is what we are doing here today. This is now a new beginning some of you will be taking time off to decide what to do next. Some will be going to university, to college, trade, show, trade schools, and some off to work. Whatever your path, strive for the highest aspiration and be the best you can. A word of wisdom, try to find a career or job that you can be passionate about, one that challenges you and motivates you. You will have many working years ahead and probably many different jobs and possibly careers but life is too short to get up each workday and head off to a position you just plain hate. This is not fair to you, your family, or fellow workers. Remember, there are many better things in your future than you may be leaving behind. I also believe if some, something doesn't challenge you, it will not change you. So don't be fear the unknown or tough tasks. That, take them on head on and believe in yourself. As you move through the years, embrace life. Be respectful, be ethical, honor your name and reputation. Enjoy your friends, they are so important. Look after your health, and most importantly, love your family. By the way, your entire family is so proud of you right now, so this couldn't be a better time to ask for money. A hint, if you're going to ask for a loan, ask someone who's a pessimist because they probably won't expect it back. Talking about money is a great segue into some unsolicited advice I'm going to share. It is a lesson learned from experience. Regardless of what you end up doing for your career, or regardless of what you are earning, every pay period, put a small amount away in a savings account or RSP. It doesn't, have, it doesn't have to be a lot, just something. Warren Buffett, a multi-billionaire, said this, don't save what is left after spending spend what is left after saving. He also said, if you don't want to become wealthy, if you want to become wealthy, you must allocate some of your er current earnings to the future. You should take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey along the way. Don't ever be afraid of failure, just learn from it. Remember, you're not measured by your failure, but how you move on from it. Also in life, if you have the choice of being right or kind, be kind. Never let anyone look down on you because you are young. You are bright, you are hope for the future, and right now we need hope. As I look out into the crowd, I believe there is a future Canadian Prime Minister in this year's graduating class, and I believe with all my heart, she will be amazing. This is a day for celebrating your success, a day to thank all those who have helped you along the way. You started high school as children and you are leaving young adults. Nothing can stop you now. You can achieve whatever you want in life. All you have to do is believe you can. We believe in you. A hearty congratulations to the 2020 graduates and all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. The Reeve of Corman Park, Ms. Judy Harwood. And you've already gone ahead and captured what my next mission was going to be. And that is at a racetrack, racetrack rules apply. 
When you're in the grandstand, please feel free to wave to your graduate, to all the graduates as they go by. And if you hear something you like, you want to show your appreciation for a grad, by all means, honk your horns. As we get set to begin the procession and begin honoring the graduating class of 2020, one final note that usually you save for the end. But today we want to start at the beginning. And from day one, parents have been there for their students. And I've never seen a more inspired group of parents that want to see the best for their kids and show them how proud they are of the class of 2020. So to the volunteers, the parents that put today together and the hours of work and labor of love that went into this, we salute you and thank you racetrack style. Let's hear your horns. Start your engines, it's time to celebrate the class of 2020 from Warman High School. start to welcome the class of 2020, each student was asked two questions. One, what will you always remember about your high school days? And two, if there are any shout outs that you'd like to provide. Now to the drivers, a reminder that we must stay 30 kilometers an hour on the track, as the photographer would greatly appreciate that. One flattened lens ruins an afternoon. Trust us, we've been there. Ladies and gentlemen, the first members of the class of 2020, Huda Alahadri, who will always remember her days at Warman High, family, teachers, friends, and the class of 2020, as well as Noor Alahadri, remembering the days at Warman High, and both would like to give a shout out to family, teachers, friends, and the rest of the class of 2020. Alahadris. Next, making her way to the red carpet, please welcome Jamie Anderson. We'll always remember the good times shared with classmates and teachers and all of the memories that she made with her friends. Would like to give a shout out to my parents for believing in me and for always pushing me to do my best. Jamie Anderson.
next to the red carpet, please welcome Dylan Ash. Dylan will always remember the laughs that he shared with friends and would like to give a shout out to, I'm a man of few words, mostly because wise men don't say much. So I would just like to say thanks to my parents, hockey coaches and teachers for always being there to support me. Dylan Ash. Next to the stage, please welcome Caden Atkins. Caden will always remember the odor of the school when walking in. Would love to give a shout out to my parents for not going insane the last three months. Caden Atkins. Next, please welcome Ty Beyer will always remember the debates I had in Mr. Linner's class. Would like to give a shout out to my mom for making my lunch every day. Ty Beyer. Next, please welcome Boston Bailey. Boston will always remember coming to school and being greeted by Palm every morning saying, yay, math class, or high fives for test day. Boston would like to give a shout out to both of my parents who put me first no matter what, and you're always there for me. Even though I've made mistakes, you were always kind and understanding and held me accountable. Also a quick shout out to Palm for making math not so miserable. Boston Bailey. Next to cross the finish line, Joshua Baldwin. Joshua will always remember the busy hallways on your way to class and the infinite number of laughs that occurred on a daily basis. Joshua would like to give a shout out to my family friends, and specifically my wonderful teachers who always kept the pressure up and kept me motivated throughout the years. Joshua Baldwin. Next, please welcome Maria Bestman. Maria will always remember speed walking behind the slowest walking group of people known to man. Meanwhile, trying to dodge the huge groups of great Niners chilling in the smallest hallways known to man. I will also remember my most stressful class, English, with Ms. Hall. I wasn't stressed out by the work, but more so by the fact that she had to tell everyone to shut up on average 72 times a class. I would like to thank and give a shout out to my parents for pushing me. My friends Segu and Janae for always being there. The teachers for the motivation and guidance and Mr. Bardall for waking me up when I'd pass out in physics. Maria Bestman. Now on the red carpet, Emily Benyon. Emily will always remember sitting with my friends in the morning before we went to class. I will miss all my teachers and all the fun that we had at school. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Bardall 
for making chemistry class so much fun and always supporting me and pushing me to always do my best. Emily Benyon. Next to the stage, Madison Bishop. Madison will always remember all the great conversations, Mrs. Miller and the parking lot barbecues. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for always being there and helping, and Mrs. Miller for always believing in me and making my day better. Madison Bishop. Next, Alyssa Bobrick. Alyssa will always remember all the fun I had with my friends and would like to give a shout out to my mom and dad and my sister for always helping me in school when I needed it. Alyssa Bobrick. Next to the red carpet, Karanjeet Bola. Karanjeet will always remember Braden Normand doing a front flip over the stage and securing the win in Olympics. I would like to give a shout out to Mayor Spence for supporting me in the City Council, the Forum, and future endeavors. Karanjit Bola. Next, please welcome Kaylee Bracca. Kaylee will always remember my days at Warman High School and would like to give a shout out to my parents, my teachers, and my friends, and the rest of the class of 2020. Kaylee Bracca. Katie Bradshaw. Katie will always remember hanging out with my friends and the exciting experiences in French class. The best memories are when we as grade 12s banded together and won Olympics. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always being there when I needed them and supporting me no matter what. Katie Bradshaw. Kaden Cadman. Caden will always remember playing soccer in provincials and bringing home a silver medal. I will also remember the trips I experienced in outdoor ed class. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents and teachers for helping me through school. I wouldn't be prepared for university if it wasn't for them. Caden Cadman.
Kiana Cadman. Kiana will always remember the connections and memories that I made with all my friends. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always being so supportive and encouraging with my schooling. Kiana Cadman. Sean Chenanda will always remember the fun times I had playing basketball at lunch. I'd like to give a shout out to my mother. Without her, I would not be who I am today. She always pushes me and encourages me to set goals and to work hard and to achieve them. She is my motivation and the reason why I do my best. John Chenanda. Next to the red carpet, Theron Collins. Theron will always remember having fun with my friends and playing sports. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always being there for me and willing to help me out in any way they can. Theron Collins. Ryan Conlon. Ryan will always remember outdoor ed trips with Mr. Brent and Mr. Schmidt and would like to get a shout out to family and friends for making my high school years memorable. Ryan Conlon. Next, Andrew Cook. Andrew will always remember all the outdoor ed trips and late nights with the boys. Would like to give a shout out to Kate for writing half my essays and my mom for writing the other half. Andrew Cook. Ashley Sear. Ashley will always remember Mr. Donauer's stories that took up a majority of class. Would love to give a shout out to my mom for always being there to support and encourage me, and also my dad for believing in me when I didn't. Ashley Sear. Carrie Denoxy. Carrie will always remember the French trip in 2019. I got to explore Europe with some amazing friends and teachers. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents who always are pushing me to do my best and the friends who have supported me. Thank you.
Kerry Denoxy. Julia David. Julia will always remember the different conversations and advice that my teachers gave me. Would like to give a shout out to Roland and Fishley, whom I got most of my advice from. Julia David. Alexa Denesic. Alexa will always remember sitting in the emergency room after Autumn wiped out and couldn't remember anything on our night skiing trip. Would like to give a shout out to Mrs. Pomeranski for the countless hours of math help, especially on Sunday nights. Alexa Denesic. Next to the red carpet, Cole Denis. Cole will always remember when in first semester of senior year between fourth and fifth period, there would always be a meetup with a bunch of people in the boys' bathroom, and it would make everyone late for class because of how rowdy it got in there. Cole would like to give a shout out to the teachers, because I know that it was extremely difficult for them to see all the seniors leaving the school without a proper goodbye. Cole Denis. Next on the red carpet, Haley Dirksen. Haley will always remember getting pizza at lunch with friends and jamming out to music. And would love to give a shout out to my dad for not getting mad at me for quitting online classes. Haley Dirksen. Delcy Elder. Delcy will always remember my friends and the laughs we shared. I would like to give a shout out to those that made my life better, especially my parents. Elsie Elder. Mackenzie Fenner. Mackenzie will always remember the fun memories I make with amazing people and the friendships I will never forget. I would love to give a shout out to both my parents for always supporting me and staying up late to help me study with any type of schoolwork. Kenzie Fenner.
Eric Gallinger. Eric will always remember traveling with sports teams and the friends I made with the boys along the way. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always supporting me and my coaches for always pushing me to be my best. Eric Gallinger. Hannah Gibson. Hannah will always remember our home game warm-ups and listening to Sweet Caroline and watching Mr. Fast dance and how the whole team would sing it while we would warm up. I would like to give a shout out to my parents for giving me all the opportunities they could and being supportive in my education in sports. I also want to thank my basketball coaches for helping me become a better person on and off the court. Hannah Gibson. Nicholas Gilby. Nicholas will remember the fun times I had in Mr. Linner's history class. Not only could I enjoy learning about history, I also enjoyed it by how it was taught. I would like to give a shout out to my parents for always being there for me in my times of uncertainty about school. Nicholas Gilby. Alexandra Goldsmith. Alexandra will always remember walking into the school on Friday mornings. The staff would be lined up at the front doors to give out high fives, and it really brightened up my mornings. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always pushing me to do my very best in everything that I do and for helping me throughout all of high school. I don't know how I would have gotten through it without you guys. Alexandra Goldsmith. Preston Gunther. Preston will always remember having fun with my friends, making the classes interesting. And would like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for always being there and encouraging me to do my best. Preston Gunther. Kai Hadland. We'll always remember good times with friends, family, and teachers, and the time Mr. Newfeld forced me to do the lip sync battle in front of the school. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for supporting me and helping guide me through life. Kai Hadland. Zachary Ham. Zachary will always remember all the sports I played and going to hoopla. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom for helping me with math and my dad for correcting my essays.
Zach Reham, Jake Harrison. Jake will always remember the fun times I had with my friends during high school. I'd like to give a shout out to all my teachers and my family for all their help and support throughout high school. Jake Harrison. Matthew Hennessy. Matthew will always remember playing in the school hockey tournament and playing against my friends from different schools. Matthew would like to give a shout out to my family for always supporting me in everything I do. I wouldn't be here without them and I wouldn't be the man I am today without having them by my side. Thanks mom, dad and Megan. I love you guys. Matthew Hennessy. Blake Hildebrand. Blake will always remember that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And would like to give a shout out to all my teachers. I couldn't pick just one because they all are great. Blake Hildebrand. Brianna Holmgren. Brianna will always remember the wonderful friends I made at school and would like to give a shout out to Mrs. Miller and Mr. Philip Chuck for passing me. Brianna Holmgren. Now on the red carpet, Emma Horbe. Emma will always remember the memories, my friends I made, and becoming closer with new people. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends for making high school a more enjoyable time, and teachers for always being there for the extra help. Emma Horbe. Jonathan Eichert. Jonathan will always remember the friends I made throughout high school, all the outdoor ed trips. My favorite trips were the canoe trip to Crean Lake and the hiking trip at Sturgeon Lake. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends, family, and teachers for helping me become who I am today. Jonathan Eichert.
Dallas Jensen. Dallas will always remember being excited to see my friends and make new memories every day. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents, Angie and Leo, Leon Jensen, my friends, family and teachers for always helping me get through school, even when it was tough. Dallas Jensen. Ethan Johnson. Ethan will always remember going to Greg Bardall's classes and having a great time because he is the GOAT. I will also remember talking with friends in class. I would like to give a shout out to Greg Bardall and CPOM for being such great teachers, always having my back, but also keeping it real with me. Thank you for caring about me. Ethan Johnson. Janelle Johnston. Janelle will always remember all the memories made with my friends, teammates and teachers at WHS and can't thank them enough for making my four years of high school memorable. I'd like to give a shout out to my family for always being there and pushing me to be my best, especially my parents. I would also like to thank my teachers for always supporting me and encouraging me. Janelle Johnston. Proceeding to the red carpet, Irvin Kaler. Irvin will remember my days at Warman High and would like to give a shout out to my parents, my teachers and my friends and the entire class of 2020. Irvin Kaler. Saganesh Kilo. Will always remember the great memories I created with my classmates who I've known since kindergarten. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always supporting and loving and dealing with my high school drama. To Ms. Hall for always believing in me and pushing me to do better, and finally to my best friends, Janae and Maria, for sticking with me constantly, making me laugh, and for being a part of my high school experience. Saganesh Kilo. Oliver Kirsch. Oliver, Oliver will remember my experiences with SRC 
drama, and the 2019 French trip. Every joke cracked and insane memories from me falling down a hill or Madame Schneider getting scared by pigeons. I'd like to give a shout out to every teacher who was part of SRC, drama, and the 2019 French trip. There was never a dull moment when any of them were around. Oliver Kirsch. Elliot Clausen. Elliot will always remember all of the off-topic lessons my teachers gave in class. Anything else I learned is 100% gone now. I seriously have forgotten how to take square roots. I'd like to give a shout out to my last two working brain cells for hanging in there. But most importantly, my mom for giving me everything I need to be successful and happy. She's the best, most hardworking mom anyone could meet. Elliot Clausen. Janae Clausen. Janae will remember the crazy things our school did, such as Olympics and spirit days. Even though sometimes the students weren't into it, the staff did their best to keep that enthusiasm alive. I would like to give a shout out to the teachers, especially Ms. Hall, Mrs. Bomarensky, and Ms. Schneider. I don't think I would have enjoyed school as much if I didn't have all of you being as great as you are. As well, a special shout out to my parents for their endless support and for never losing faith in me throughout my ups and downs in high school. Janae Clausen. Paige Clausen. Paige will always remember the laughs shared with my classmates, the moments where you had to be there to get it, and every moment in between. I've been with most of these kids since elementary school, and I will remember each and every one of them. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for always supporting me in everything I do and constantly pushing me to be the best I could be. I wouldn't be where I am without the support of my parents. Mental illness is a hard thing to overcome, but having parents like them makes it possible. Paige Clausen. Brayden Knorr. Brayden will always remember the crazy memories created in our outdoor ed adventures, working together to achieve our goals. I will also remember the drive the teachers had to keep us active in sports and other activities. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom, dad, and sister. And of course, the boys for always being there. Brayden Knorr. Rylan Quaz. Rylan will always remember my friends and favorite teachers. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom for loving and supporting me. Rylan Quaz. Kaya Lesmeister. 
will always remember the lifelong friends I've made throughout my high school years and the greeting from the teachers every morning when I'd walk into the classroom. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always being there for me and supporting me with any decisions I've made, to Mrs. Miller and Mrs. Legg for always helping me for countless hours to make sure I know what I'm doing and to be sure I'm successful. They never gave up on me and I would like to thank them for always greeting me with a smile or a hug. Kaya Lesmeister. Braden Lockinger. Braden will always remember the times we had, the times that you and me had. Braden would like to give a shout out to Milo Foods Warman, your favorite neighborhood store. Save more with us. Braden Lockinger. Aiden Loster. Will always remember my wonderful teachers who were always so supportive and kind. They taught me more than just curriculum, but about life lessons and great advice I will remember forever. I'd like to give a shout out to my best friends, Emma and my family. They've always been there for me no matter what obstacles I came across. Some of my best and unforgettable memories have been made with Emma. I don't know what I'd do without her. Aiden Loster. Lane Marshall. Lane will always remember the teachers and friends that I had in Warman from K to 12. I had a lot of fun and many great memories. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always being there for me and my friends. Lane Marshall. Jackson Martins. Jackson will always remember Mr. Farkason's grade eight home room and would like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for the love and support of all my friends for the many memories. Jackson Martins. Ashlyn Materi. Ashlyn will always remember the apprehension leading up to final exams, but more importantly, the sense of relief when those three hours were over. I will never forget the feeling of exhilaration after finishing a set of final exams in second semester. I'd like to give a shout out to my family, including my dog Baxter, for always supporting me during my high school career. They always respected my goals and did everything they could to help me achieve them. Ashlyn Materi. Brendan McCallan. Brendan will always remember the basketball hotel trips with the team and would like to give a shout out to my parents for being so awesome. Brendan McCallan. Mm -hmm. 
Sarah McLean. Sarah will always remember having lunch every day with Hannah Mitchell, Olympics, bonding with my grad class, and crying in chemistry. I'd like to give a shout out to my awesome parents. Thank you for always supporting me. And Hannah Mitchell, thanks for being the bowl to my spoon. Sarah McLean. Next on the red carpet, Cassidy Meister. Cassidy will always remember the 2019 France trip. I was able to travel around Europe with some of my best friends and some of my favorite teachers. The sights were gorgeous, the shopping was amazing, the food was incredible, and the people I was with made everything 100 times better. I will cherish those memories and inside jokes for the rest of my life. I'd love to give a shout out to my girls, Lauren and Jesse, for always being there for me through the good and bad, and to our friend group for the memories we make, and I hope we continue to make for as long as possible. I would also like to give a big thank you to my teachers, specifically Ms. Hall, Mrs. Schneider, and Mrs. Lebeshack. I would not be who I am without having you to look up to. I forever will be thankful for you all. Cassidy Meister. Kazia Miller. Kazia will always remember going to the SRC retreats, spending lunch hours in Mrs. Palm's room, and my trip to France, and my would've trip to Croatia. I would like to give a shout out to my teachers for always being there, and my family for being my biggest supporters. Cassia Miller. Hannah Mitchell. Hannah will always remember all of the wonderful people I met throughout my years at Warman and all the time we spent together. I'd love to give a shout out to my teachers, specifically Mrs. Pomeransky and Mrs. Schneider, for always challenging me to be the best student I could and for always making time to put up with my craziness. Mitchell. Jesse Mollier. Jesse will always remember the teams I joined and the trips I went on. I will never forget the teachers, the classes, the unstoppable laughs within the class. I will never forget the stress and the most amazing people I met along the way. I'd love to give a shout out to my family for always supporting me. My teachers for not only helping and teaching me, but I could come to you guys with anything. To the graduating class for getting along and coming together. To my friends who are always there through anything and everything. I wouldn't be here without any of you. Jesse Mollier. Naomi Alicia Morin. Naomi will always remember the few friends I made while attending Mormon High School. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for supporting me and pushing me to do my best every day.
Naomi Alicia Morin. Jesse Nash. Jesse will always remember showing up to shop in the mornings, grabbing a cup of coffee and talking with the fellas for the first while of class. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for not disowning me for the amount of times the school called their phones. Jesse Nash. Aiden Nelson. Aiden will always remember my days at Borman High and would like to give a shout out to my family, my teachers and my friends and the class of 2020. Aiden Nelson. Abigail Newfeld. Abigail will remember my days at Mormon High and would like to give a shout out to my family, my teachers and my friends and everyone with the class of 2020. Abigail Neufeld. Regan Neufeld. Regan will always remember being in garage band class. It was fun and I made lots of new friends. I would like to give a shout out to my aunt and grandmother for being there when things got tough and for being my main support throughout my high school years. Regan Neufeld. Cameron Noble. Cameron will always remember the barbecues at lunch we had or the amazing bonds and memories I made with many people. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom for always believing in me and pushing me to do my best. And I'd also like to give a shout out to Mrs. Schneider for always being there for me and pushing me to get my stuff done and being like a friend to me. And I'd also like to give a shout out to Tracy Pauls, who was like a second mom to me and always pushed me to excel and helped me whenever I needed help. And lastly, Mr. Dick, who helped achieve many things and always checked up on me. Cameron Noble. Braden Norman. Braden will always remember out, our outdoor ed and would like to give a shout out to all my friends I made through the past four years because you guys really were the best part of my high school experience. Also, a big shout out to Palm for leading us during volleyball. Braden Norman. Catherine Nyman. Catherine will always remember my days at Warman High and would like to give a shout out to family, friends, teachers, and the class of 2020.
Catherine Nyman. Now on the red carpet, Amy Owen. Amy will always remember the fun times I had on basketball tournaments with the team, laughing in the locker room and destroying teams on the court. Amy would like to give a shout out to my mother Janice for believing in me when I couldn't, my sister Raina and my brother Jarrett for always being my competitor and to all the teachers who helped me accomplish this great step towards life. Amy Owen. Raina Owen. Raina will always remember my friends for always being there for me during the dark days and bright ones. Also the SRC for allowing me to be my absolute nerdy weird self and help the school community. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom for putting up with me for 18 years, my siblings for making me laugh and the entire roller derby community for being supportive and just plain awesome. Raina Owen. Austin Jesse James Podolik. Austin will always remember the jokes me and Mr. Skaboinker made in the hallway. What a legend. Also, hearing over the intercom, whoever owns the blue Dodge Ram with license plate 509 GRX, please move your vehicle immediately. Austin would like to give a shout out to Burger King for helping keeping me fed during school and the teachers for letting me mow down a Roadhouse King during their teaching. Also to my cool mom. Yes, she made me say this. Austin Padalek. Manmeet Pander. Manmeet will always remember winning Olympics this year and would like to give a shout out to my parents for always being there for me. And meet Pander. Brianna Paquin. Brianna will always remember the once in a lifetime trip to France where I got to experience different cultures and travel halfway across the world with my classmates. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for supporting me and making me believe that I can do anything and everything in life. Also, I'd like to thank my teachers for giving me the tools and knowledge I will need to face my future. Brianna Paquin. Aiden Harshauer. Aiden will always remember the teachers that made Warman High School so memorable and a fun place to be at. I will never forget having barbecues in the parking lot with the principal and having the police come. Aiden would like to give a shout out to the coronavirus for helping me pass Chem 30 sooner. Aiden Harshauer. Raiden Pauls. Raiden will always remember when all the students in Mrs. Dick's class turned music on their phones and we put them in the ceiling and she spent all of the class trying to figure out where the music was coming from. Would like to give a shout out to my mom for sounding like a broken record for the last 12 years because honestly without her, I would never have made it this far and become who I am today. She didn't give up on me when I gave up on myself and for that I thank you mom. Raiden Pauls. Brooklyn Pearson. Brooklyn will always remember going out for lunch with my friends on school days and our trip to Europe in April. Oh wait, we didn't get to do that. 
I'd like to give a shout out to Ms. Hall for being so understanding and supportive of me, and to all my teachers, my mom and my dad, and all my friends. Brooklyn Pearson. Zach Penner. Zach will always remember the amazing times I had in outdoor ed with my friends from building Quincy's to cano canoeing Korean Lake. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for always being there for me and helping me out throughout high school, as well as my teachers for supporting and helping me through my tough times last semester. Zach Penner. Sheridan Peters. Sheridan will always remember getting to be with my friends every day and would like to give a shout out to my parents for motivating me and being my biggest supporters. Sheridan Peters. Josh Piller. Josh will always remember balling up with the boys in the gym and would like to give a shout out to Buy Low Foods where your money buys more for less. Josh Piller. Velvet Prosper. Velvet will remember walking in on the first day. It was an experience, a scary one, but it turned out all right. Velvet would like to give a shout out to Matt and Shirley. They've been the biggest support system these past few months. My mom for giving me life so I could do all of this and everyone else because I feel like they'll feel left out. Velvet Prosper. Samuel Reimer. Samuel will always remember when someone backed their truck into the bus I was in. And would like to give a shout out to my mom, dad, and all the teachers that made sure I didn't procrastinate too much. Samuel Reimer. Aaron Rencas. Aaron will always remember her days at Mormon High and would like to give a shout out to family, teachers, friends, and the rest of the class of 2020. Tyler Samuels. 
Tyler will always remember hanging with the boys. I would like to give a shout out to my family for getting me out the door every day. Tyler Samuels. Madison Scarrow. Madison will always remember the thousands of chicken nuggets over the senior year and the 2020 grads. We've all been through a tough year, but we're here and we made it. Madison would like to give a shout out to Mrs. Bird for everything she has done and for being a great mentor. Also to her parents, sister and nephew Ben, grandparents, godparents, and her boyfriend Cody. Madison Scarrow. Raina Schaefer. Raina will always remember her time at WHS as it's been a blur. I've made some great memories and have been inspired by some awesome teachers. I'd like to give a shout out to and congratulations to my fellow 2020 grads and best wishes on wherever your path takes you. Raina Schaefer. Davis Schwartz. Davis will always remember chilling at the south doors with my pals. And I'd like to give a shout out to my parents and teachers for getting me this far. Davis Schwartz. Alex Schultz. Alex will always remember parking in the same spot every day and dabbing up Pear Bear in the hallway every day. Also not paying attention in class and yet somehow nailing finals. Alex would like to give a shout out to dad for putting up with me not handing in my math assignments on time and also Mr. Perry for being just as influenced by distractions as I am. Alex Schultz. Katie Shepard. Katie will always remember my friends and the lessons that they have taught me. Some good, some bad. I'd like to give a shout out to Mrs. Bomaraski for all her help with math and to Mr. Donauer for his inspiration and for showing me the kind of teacher I want to be. Katie 
Shepard. Annika Skorupin. Annika will always remember after school talks with Miss Sadaway and my grade 10 cooking class with all my buddies. I'd like to give a shout out to Mrs. Bird for being the only reason I passed math. Annika Skorupin. Madison Soderstrom. Madison will always remember Mrs. Pomeranski and her love for math and how she would have math assignments or homework with her at all times. She'd like to give a shout out to the parents that put so much effort into planning this grad and making it something special for us. Madison Soderstrom. Carson Sokolowski. Carson will always remember the time spent in the office where every day is a great day in the office. Carson would like to give a shout out to Buy Low Foods for bringing low, low prices to Warman. Carson Sokolowski. Taylor Stanzel. Taylor will always remember the outdoor ed overnight trips with all my buddies and would like to give a shout out to all the teachers and friends that made high school go way too fast. Taylor Stanzel. Dylan Strang. Dylan will always remember walking out of the school for the last time and yelling, I'm done. Dylan would like to give a shout out to my mom for helping me with my homework and my parents for supporting me in all my endeavors. Dylan Strang. Owen Talmadge. Owen will always remember my friends and all the good memories we had. Also, all the amazing teachers I had who would go out of their way to help everyone. Owen would like to give a shout out to my parents for always helping me and pushing me to do better in school and life. Owen Talmadge. Jesse Thibodeau. Jesse will always remember the friendly students and staff that made Warman High a great place to go to school and the amazing teachers and EAs that put in extra time before and after school to help all students be successful. Jesse would like to give a shout out to my parents and teachers for all their encouragement and support. I couldn't have done it without you. Jesse Thibodeau. K. 
Caitlin Teeley. Caitlin will always remember our senior year school Olympics. It was the first year I participated and it was so much fun. Our whole class coming together and winning the Olympics was an experience I'll never forget. It was one of the most fun weeks I've ever had. I'd like to give a shout out to my teachers who helped to get me where I am. If my teachers weren't there to make sure I did my work, I don't think I would have made it. I had so many great teachers who helped me when I needed it. I'm thankful for everyone who believed in me and my goals. I wouldn't be where I am without any of them. Caitlin Teeley. Austin Tkachuk. Austin will always remember the many Tim's trips for Mr. Duick and the many special visits in Mr. Dick's office. Austin would like to give a shout out to my mom. It hasn't been the easiest road, but my mom stuck beside me and mom, we did it. I got my grade 12. Austin to Kachuk. Warren Unra. Warren will always remember how awesome everyone is at Warman High and how they made everyone feel important and worthy. What a privilege it was to have gone to Warman High School. Warren would also like to give a shout out to my parents, teachers and EAs for always encouraging and believing in me. Thank you. Warren Unra. Tyler Vanesti. Tyler will always remember the outdoor ed trips that we got to go on, especially the canoe trip to Korean Lake. Tyler would like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for supporting me through all my years of playing sports and going to school. Tyler Vanesti. Avery Wedower. Avery will always remember all of the amazing teachers that made school more enjoyable, seeing my friends every day and having barbecues in the school parking lot. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for always supporting me and taking care of me and the amazing teachers and friends I've made over the years. Avery Wedower. Haley Weeb. Haley will always remember the math assignments I told myself I was going to do but forgot about and never finished. 
I'd like to give a shout out to my grade 12 bio class that glued almost everything in the classroom to the ceiling. Lauren Weeb. Lauren will always remember the outdoor ed trips, parking lot barbecues, the French trip, and all the friends I've made over the past 12 years. I'd like to give a shout out to my family for always being so supportive. Also my girls, Cass and Jess, for making high school so memorable. Lauren Weeb. Trinity Wilkinson. Trinity will always remember the final performance of the Little Mermaid musical. The crushing news that the basketball team didn't get to finish the season. We'll also remember how the teachers peer pressured me into joining track and field and performing on stage, both activities that I ended up enjoying. I'd like to give a shout out to my sister Eden, who has made me not want to have kids in the future. Trinity Wilkinson. Emerson Woodrow. Emerson will always remember telling stories with classmates and friends and all the laughs throughout the classes and the fun environment that all the teachers made school. Emerson would like to give a shout out to my parents who have supported me through all the blood, sweat and tears for being a teenager in high school. I want to thank Ms. Hall for being there and for me since my first day of school in Mormon. In general, I want to thank all the teachers at Mormon High for supporting me and pushing me to be the best. Lewis Wright. Lewis will always remember my days at Warm and High. I'd like to give a shout out to my family, my teachers, and my friends, the class of 2020.
making her way out of corner four, Dakota Wolf. Dakota will always remember how much I hated the student parking lot, and for all future students, I wish you the best of luck. I'd like to give a shout out to all of my teachers and friends for helping me accomplish so much. Thank you to all the SRC teachers for always seeing everyone's full potential and working so hard to make our high school experience the best. I wish you all the very best in the future, and thank you. Dakota Wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Warman High School class of 2020. So graduates, we now ask that you assemble in the spot for the socially distanced grad photo that will be taken. Family members, we thank you for coming. And again, we remind that we must follow the SHA protocols, remaining safe distances apart from one another. But we thank you for coming this afternoon. Also, a huge thank you to the Reeve of Corman Park, Judy Harwood, for all of her work this afternoon in presenting diplomas to our graduates. And finally, on behalf of everyone at the Saskatoon Stock Car Racing Association, and here at Wyatt Group Raceway, we impart you with these words of wisdom from the racetrack. Students, in the race of life, don't forget, slow down, roll down the windows, and enjoy the ride. Sure, you may get hit by a bug in the teeth, brush it off, pick the wings out of your teeth, and put your foot on the pedal. Enjoy the ride that is life. Thank you everyone, congratulations to the Warman High School class of 2020. One more time, let's hear it for the volunteers, the parents that made today possible, and the entire graduating class of 2020.